welcome to commerce computer private limited learning program hardware networking we are going to see about uh, windows 10 os environment like uh, we have seen about uh, windows 10 installation configurations and um, the management of uh, various parameters in uh, windows 10 but um, as such what is there in uh, windows 10 environment uh, we are going to see like all the components uh, small small tools available and uh, features available in windows 10 so if you are a new user uh, you wanted to work in and around with windows 10 and you wanted to uh, search some of the options like uh, settings um, uh, restricting the permissions or windows firewall whatever it is so we'll just have a, a session about uh, working with windows 10 so it will give you more clarity and uh, you can find out uh, what option is available where so it will be easy for you to understand and uh, identify the uh, options available in windows 10 so as an introduction to windows 10 so it is uh, a product from microsoft and it is the latest uh, product released and uh, it is belonging to nt family so it, uh, it will have all, all advancements of uh, nt architecture so it is the latest os as i mentioned so it gives a lot of features and um, uh, enhances the performance we had windows 8 operating system so uh, it is going to add uh, additional features of windows 8 and some of the feedbacks received from windows 8 for the uh, general users so microsoft have taken action and uh, they have considered all these feedbacks so uh, for example they have changed the start menu from windows 10 windows 10 uh, windows 8 will have a kind of tile structure start menu which is not preferred by most of the users and in windows 10 they have brought in the same uh, start menu along with the tile structure so that you'll have both features of old and new uh, so those kind of additions you can see in um, windows 10 so uh, this is going to be a, a new experience for the users who are all uh, freshers and uh, they wanted to work in a computers or uh, users who are all uh, working in media players so uh, media so they'll have more exposures to uh, do all this activity with windows 10 Key dates uh, in July 29, 2015, uh, Microsoft released uh, Windows 10 for uh, customers' usage. And in uh, 2016, they launched a Windows 10 upgrade offer from Microsoft. Um, so it is expiring after uh, some time. So whoever wanted to upgrade from Windows 7 and Windows 8 to Windows 10, that was the time they have provided uh, free offers. So uh, without any additional licensing charges, they can. Uh, they could have upgraded the uh, operating system some people would have utilized it some people may not be so they have to buy the windows 10 operating system as a fresh license uh, it will be uh, same charge what others are going to buy so we have lost the chance so we cannot repeat it now so we have to uh, buy a separate os license and uh, install it in our uh, system so in Jan uh, january 14 2020 windows 7 extended support is completed already they declared one date for windows 7 expiry but uh, beyond uh, the scope they have extended the support for windows 7 uh, so that they call it as extended support they provided the patch update and other support but now if you go and ask they will not be able to provide any kind of support basically um, so if there is any issue if you are logging a call from an organization uh, they will immediately reject that uh, the operating system support is stopped so we have to go for upgrading the product then only microsoft will continue the required support in jan to jan 10 2023 they are going to stop the windows 8 uh, product support 8 and 8.1 external support they will going to stop so this is the right time all the organizations uh, already started pushing windows 10 in their endpoints so two years back if you see most of the customers are not willing to upgrade windows 10 they wanted to run with the legacy applications and legacy uh, hardware but now uh, microsoft is also pushing to have more um, uh, windows 10 products in the field and uh, enhanced security uh, in this current scenario so everybody is now interested to go for windows 10 so now we'll um, get into windows 10 environment so once you have installed the operating system uh, you are logging into the computer this is the first screen you will get into it so user id and password you have to enter so uh, you can uh, change the user if at all you are not the right user switch user is also available so you can log in with your username and password 
so during the installation you would have given some id right username and password so that you have to remember and give it here so we are also seen like um, uh, secret hint questions you have to remember that also otherwise uh, when you lost the password uh, then it will prompt for a secret question you have to enter the answer for it otherwise you will not be allowed to log in so you have to find out alternate ways to log into the uh, desktop so when you open a desktop so this is a start menu and the search option is provided below so you can directly type so whatever the right options uh, alternate uh, suggestions you will get it in the start menu itself and you will be able to select that uh, for your own requirement so you need not search for uh, you need not open a separate window for search so here in the task bar itself uh, you have a start uh, search option available so task bar you have a, a lengthy bar and notification area where um, you can find all the notifications a kind of pop-up will be rising and you can find out uh, anything important or you can add applications to the notification area so that any changes in the application you'll be able to get it in the uh, system directly so this is a normal windows option like uh, you'll get uh, options to minimize maximize and close the application this is a normal uh, tool available uh, in all microsoft product desktop background like you modify a desktop background in windows 7 and 8 same options available uh, you can personalize and you can add your photos also individual photos or um, uh, password size photo you can add it for your own easy identification that is also provided uh, here start menu so once you click on the windows key you will get the start menu file explorer you can um, press windows key and e to get the file explorer or you can type uh, file explorer in the taskbar also you can find out there is a folder available there is a folder available in the taskbar um, so you can if you can click you will get into the file explorer directly virtual desktops um, this option is not available in windows home edition but this is available in professional and enterprise edition this is to enhance that um, to have multiple screens normally what happens here is um, users they open multiple programs and uh, if you see 20 30 programs they'll open it and uh, they'll get confused which file which um, uh, folder need to be opened so uh, microsoft windows 10 is giving you a, a virtual desktops where you can select multiple desktops and keep some of the applications in some desktops so that um, uh, you can um, identify and uh, select right files uh, for your own requirement so this option is a new one new thing for uh, win, uh, windows 10 so start menu you have the um, options you have left pane and right pane in the start menu so left pane is looking like a windows 7 and right menu is for looking like a windows 8 so windows 10 is combined both the both the panes search box um, so you can directly type what you wanted in the search box in the uh, uh, taskbar itself you need not open a separate search window so it will give you uh, best possible uh, options you can choose uh, which is required for you so the gear icon will be allowing you to enter into the settings the icon will send you the feedback to microsoft second icon third circle icon is for cortana so anything you want to do access cortana and say something you can um, just mention it in the uh, voice over itself so you can uh, in the right pane you can select and you can pin it so uh, it will be always available for you otherwise it will be randomly uh, getting changed based on our access to the system the um, the right pane will keep on changing suppose you need some uh, pane some options uh, permanently you have to pin it so it means it will become a permanently available other things will keep on change but uh, this uh, pinned applications will be staying for long time taskbar windows 10 taskbar so you can see start menu and the pinned applications and the notification area so all these things you can see in the uh, taskbar so you can unpin the application you can right click and unpin so that uh, it will get removed from the uh, taskbar task view so you can just uh, click on that uh, task view icon so you'll get all the tasks available lined up in your system alternatively you can use alt plus tab key where you can switch over between the uh, application so that is your choice 
so tablet mode this is a new option available in windows 10 so what uh, microsoft is doing so they are uh, preparing a common uh, operating system for multiple devices uh, common applications for multiple devices so here uh, uh, some kind of advanced laptops uh, where laptops can be used as a tablet you can remove the uh, um, uh, screen alone separately which is a touch screen model you can remove the screen alone from the um, uh, docking station so that will become a tablet so normally when you have a keyboard and mouse attached to it it will become a laptop suppose you wanted to have mobile mobility with that device so you can remove the screen alone so immediately it become a tablet so all the applications will uh, go into a full screen mode where you can choose the required applications so to activate the tablet mode you have to go to control panel and settings so in the settings you have a tablet mode system settings so you have a tablet mode uh, you can switch it on so that um, your system will become a, a tablet when required but this is uh, hardware dependent if suppose your laptop is not uh, flexible enough to act as a tablet hardware is not supported then definitely this mode is not useful so you have to ensure that you have a latest laptop uh, which can be unplugged from your docking the keyboard and mouse uh, docking right keypad so otherwise you cannot use this feature but anyway this microsoft is providing this kind of additional features file explorer so this explorer option is helping you to uh, uh, go through the files uh, required files for searching or uh, creating folders and managing your data so it'll, it will it is giving you also options like uh, your recent files on the left side pane so that uh, you do not go and search uh, the required folders frequently so based on your uh, need and uh, repeated uh, uh, folder opening so it will uh, line up the folders at least three to four folders in the left hand side so you can directly click on the folders and you can uh, start accessing the files for your own requirement so this is the top view of um, uh, top portion of um, uh, file explorer so you can find the uh, home option so you have all the uh, utilities like copy paste uh, delete the folder create the new folder all those options are provided in the second uh, tab you have a share so uh, there you have options few options provided for zipping emailing sharing the files other users in the network so other options are available and the third tab is view tab so with the help of view tab we can customize how we are viewing the folder so you can uh, click on the each icon uh, like extra uh, large icons small icons so extra large icon very much useful if you are exploring the uh, folder having photos or videos so you need not open and see what is inside the uh, photo right if you select extra large icon it will be visible in the screen itself you can adjust the screen zoom size though so that uh, you need not open any files photos you can directly see it if required only you can open it so this is helping you to save time otherwise no we have to keep on opening one for one file by one file right so it saves time so if you keep it in details or uh, list view you cannot see the contents of the photo so extra large icon is very much help for uh, users who are all working in the uh, photoshop or uh, media related activities file tab so that's a file first option available so this is using to uh, open up a command prompt to open up a powershell so those options are provided in the file tab cortana so this is a new feature uh, which we discussed in the beginning itself so by default it is not enabled if if at all you require this you have to enable it so you have options like home notebook reminders and face feedback so you can choose uh, whatever required and you can enable it via audio so that when you say something it reacts for it so how to activate the cortana uh, if cortana isn't active you can turn in by uh, going to the settings it, it is normally in off condition so switch it on uh, so it, it becomes active so once you are um, enabling the cortana so it, it will start uh, looking for the hard disk for all the files contents applications everything it will start learning so that whenever you ask something like uh, open this file uh, uh, show the calendar show the mail so it will uh, do the required uh, support it's like a voice assistant like your alexa or siri so uh, different vendors are having different names here microsoft is using the name cortana so windows 10 notifications this is very much helpful 
uh, if there is any changes in the uh, system applications that immediate pop-up will be uh, appearing so you can find out uh, anything happening for your system so this is a very important feature for Windows 10 so how to customize the notification go to settings and notification area so you can choose the options whichever is required for your uh, business quick actions so instead of going each and every time you can keep it in the quick actions so that if you click on that um, you'll be able to see and uh, directly uh, select the required um, uh, options cloud so we can enable the cloud operations in uh, windows 10 machine again this is a new feature so how to enable it so for this you need to have a, a microsoft account so if you don't have an account then we'll have to create it so for creating the account just go through the steps so you'll have to uh, create a username and password and uh, register with uh, microsoft then you can use the cloud account so using onedrive so onedrive is a, a, a cloud option uh, microsoft is providing all corporate uh, they uh, provide a license for storing the data so along with the o365 mail id uh, office applications they are also giving OneDrive as a packaged uh, uh, option and uh, each user can have unlimited space maximum of one terabyte so it's a cloud storage so it will get expanded as and when you uh, store the data uh, like you have a google cloud drive and um, maximum you can go up to one terabyte i think uh, mo most of the people cannot go up to that limit but still uh, microsoft is giving one terabyte of uh, storage space so you can move the files from your laptop or desktop to OneDrive. The advantage of um, OneDrive is if you are logging in from any of the desktop in your office, any part of the world, right? You are logging into the uh, desktop or laptop. So you can access your OneDrive in your login. So whatever files you kept in that OneDrive, you will be able to access it. Suppose you are going for an abroad trip and uh, you forgot to take the laptop or laptop is crashed unfortunately and uh, you are uh, looking for some important presentation for clients demo so if you have kept it in OneDrive you need not worry about it you get the temporary laptop from the place where you are and um, download the content from OneDrive into your laptop and showcase the presentation so you need not worry about the data movement and also it is enabling more security also and uh, you are free from uh, carrying the data in your hand so Normally, uh, users are having a VDA or uh, those kind of uh, things. They'll keep moving the data to OneDrive so that um, anytime any VDA they log in, they'll be able to get the data. So we need to go for uh, syncing the data. So if you are seeing the green color tick, it means um, the data is synced. So you can, uh, you need not worry about data in the local drive. It is already in the cloud. If it is in blue uh, uh, kind of arrow mark, it is currently syncing so it is not yet completed so it happens in the back end so once you initiate a movement so you can forget about it it will keep uh, trying and uh, uploading the files even if you are interrupting that day it will get stopped uh, the next day when you are connecting it back to the network uh, it will start syncing so it will do in the back end activity the red marks means um, uh, there is an interruption or there is a problem so syncing is not happening and you will not be able to uh, uh, use that file offline so universal app this is another new feature for uh, windows 10 so they are um, creating and managing the applications which is common for all the uh, kind of uh, uh, equipments like laptop mobiles um, tablets xbox so anywhere you can use this kind of uh, application so this is a universal windows platform uwp so this is available in uh, windows store like your google store windows store is available so you can download the applications at free of cost if you have a licensed uh, operating system but in corporate environment uh, they will block the access to uh, windows stores because you should not um, uh, download any kind of applications and install in your laptop though it is secured only but it is unnecessarily adding a burden to the laptop so as per security uh, restrictions uh, you are blocked from accessing the windows stores in the office laptops so with this uh, we are completing windows 10 working with windows 10 part 1 so we'll continue uh, in part 2 thank you very much